Biggest attendance for quite some time. Sharing the big time atmosphere with our cameras is commentator Jock Brown. Well, let's take a look first at the Hearts lineup, and that shows no changes from the side that's played last week, which means that there's a place in the side for young Dave Bowman. There's Dave Bowman, who is the 16-year-old midfield player for Hearts, just into the side this season. The son, of course, of a famous father, Andy Bowman, the old Hearts player. Now look at the Celtic side. That shows one significant change. Frank McGarvey has failed a fitness test and his injured groin, and his place goes to George McCluskey. And McCluskey's striking partner will be Charlie Nicholas, the star Celtic youngster. He's just 18 years old. And he's only starting his third competitive match this season for Celtic. And despite that, he scored five goals. So it's Hearts to kick off, trying to win their first Premier League point of the season at Tynecastle. They've only played once before, in fairness, against Airdrie when they lost 2-0. But their home record so far has been less than inspired. There's the captain, Jim Jeffries. Proven returning the ball for Celtic. Taken by Boyd, that's Nicholas. And that's Bobby Robinson stepping in. Now Sneddon for Celtic. There's a first touch for young Dave Bowman. And you can tell by that reception, he's very much a hero among the Tynecastle fans. Not 17 until next March. A long ball from John Gruff, headed clear by Sneddon. Chris Robertson, the former Rangers player. Robertson again. Trying to find a way past Alan Sneddon. That's a goal kick to Celtic. Taking the short goal kick to Sneddon. The dummy by Sullivan doesn't deceive Alec McDonald. That's well taken by Pat Bonner. So McAdam coming a long way from defence for Celtic. Nicholas in a very tight corner. Swift, incisive tackle from Robinson. There's Nicholas again. Beautiful turn. He's still in possession. And that was the right foot of John Braff that prevented Charlie Nicholas getting his sixth goal of the season. Just look at the way he wriggles free on the byline. Great pressure from two defenders. Nicholas comes through. And the right foot of Braff saving the day. All the way through, Aiken, now McAdam, just a few signs in the last moment or two of some uncertainty in the heart of the Celtic defence. Sullivan working it well to Proven. Going for the return, oh, he's clipped from behind by Jeffries. A belated whistle from referee Anderson. And a word of warning, which I think is perfectly justified for Jim Jeffries. He was clearly out of range for the tackle. Now Proven. Sneddon. The chance. And that just passed the post from Tom McAdam. As the cross came over from Sneddon, it reached Tom McAdam and he didn't quite get the ball the way he meant to. That's Bowman getting a second chance. A lot of composure, the youngster. A bit angry with himself there. Sending him forward, a word of warning from the referee. Now Nicholas. Robinson's there again. Green. Walter Kidd staying with him. And uh, that's good refereeing by uh, Bill Anderson. Uh, 
appeared to be an arm used by Walter Kidd to prevent the progress of Danny McGrain. So, a free kick in a very dangerous position, perhaps the most dangerous position Celtic have had from a dead ball so far in the match. The four-man wall lining up. Brough trying to get them in the right position. And the referee still standing over the ball with Sullivan and McCluskey there for Celtic. Ali McDonald can't wait for the ball to be struck. There's Proven. Deflects it to Nicholas. Oh, that is a great save by John Brough. The free kick by Proven off the wall. It's Charlie Nicholas who comes in at the far side and Brough is down like lightning to save what looked like a certain goal for Celtic. Now here's Nicholas on the break, but Robinson's in very quickly. He's been around, Bobby Robinson, Dundee, Dundee United, and then Hearts. Burns, Robin trying to get back, trying to work for one two with Kluski back to Proven, and that is finishing of the highest class. Davy Proven gives Celtic the lead. The run from Tommy Burns, the one two seemed to be cleared up by the Hearts defence. It broke to Proven, and John Brough simply had no chance with that beautifully struck right foot shot. Sullivan trying to reach the dead ball line. Checks back. Looking for Nicholas. Boyd is in. And Bowman hurried into playing that out for the throw. A very crowded corner of the pitch there. Bowman's trying to find someone in space. There's McAdam coming up very intelligently. Aiken. Oh, McAdam again joining the Celtic attack and that's a chance coming off the chest of John Brough and Charlie Nicholas just wrong footed as that one came back the trouble caused by Tom McAdam bursting out of defence he saw a space coming through tremendous left foot shot and Charlie Nicholas just a bit unlucky A great all on his own. Well, Tom McAdam is popping up all over the place for Celtic. There's Sullivan. No problem. Plusky going wide. Nicholas is inside, just behind him. A chance for Conroy. And really, you couldn't expect a better chance than that. And Mike Conroy must be wondering how he missed. Beautiful move on the Celtic right. The cross from McCluskey behind Charlie Nicholas. And with the attention of the defence taken by Nicholas, Conroy had time to do much better than that. The half-time whistle goes. Celtic leading by one goal to nil. And the goal a memorable scorching drive from Davy Proven in the 33rd minute. And John Brough, the man who performed a few heroics in the Hearts goal in the first half, but could do nothing about that goal from Brough. And a deserved lead for Celtic. And there's the first Hearts substitute, Alfie Kahn, who got a great reception from the Hearts supporters. He's come on for the second half in place of 16-year-old Dave Bowman, who obviously found the pressure of playing against Celtic considerable. So Kahn is on for the second half. Hearts trying to find an answer to the control which Celtic exerted from midfield with the support coming from Aiken and McAdam behind and the result was an awful lot of pressure from Celtic here's more building up Proven, Nicholas back with Aiken he spotted that big gap on the far side now it's Barton's Profit 
first touch for Alfie Cole. And the first thumping tackle comes in from his former colleague, Danny McGrain. And Robinson for Hearts. Jeffries. And McDonald's got free there from Sullivan. But he can across quickly. Well, there's a battle we've seen many times in different colours. Aiken and Ali McDonald, and the result is a booking for Roy Aiken from referee Bill Anderson. You can see he's not terribly impressed by that decision, but he was warned sternly on one occasion in the first half, so I don't think he can have any complaints. So a very lengthy yellow card session is over for Roy Aiken. The free kick is the Hearts. That's Con towards the far post. O'Connor's there, but so is Pat Bonner. That's McCluskey. Good ball to Burns. Frank Middles across. That's that little shuffle again. That is a marvellous goal from Charlie Nicholas. And look at the delight on the youngster's face. But the credit principally goes to Tommy Burns. With that run on the left, the double shuffle getting him to the byline, and the cross leaving Nicholas to nod it home from the six yard line, leaving John Brough once again totally stranded. Jeffries, now Conroy. Connor touching it back to Con. And Derek O'Connor! bringing a gasp from the Hutt supporters a snap chance 20 yards out and that wasn't far away that's McGrain to McCluskey and his right foot comes off Con. very cool play by Alec McDonald the pressure is still on though here's Proven and Sullivan Blocked by Boyd. Davy Proven. Down in the corner kick. Off the left leg of Crawford Boyd. Far side, left by Aiken to Conroy. Aiken. And George McCluskey was the man who blocked that one with John Brough going full length to his left. And in fact, a deflection, a lighter deflection, might well have given Celtic goal number three. Bobby Robinson. He'll have to come into a more aggressive role, I think, for Hearts. He's been totally in defence so far. Conroy to Burns. Nicholas to Burns. Very patient build up again from Celtic. It's Nicholas on the turn. Marvellous turn for one defender, but the second and coming in. That's Alec McDonald trying to go all the way, and that's a bad foul indeed. A bad foul by Roy Aiken, and I'm sure Roy Aiken must now be sent off. The Celtic players crowding around the referee, but Roy Aiken has already been booked. And Roy Aiken taking the feet from Alec McDonald, who was speeding away from him. So all the time in the world will not, it will not detract from the fact that Roy Aiken is being ordered off. The red card for Roy Aiken for Celtic. Twenty-five minutes of the second half gone. Roy Aiken taking a long, lonely walk back to the dressing room. There's the Celtic bench reorganising on the field. Now will he 
Gibson. There's Chris Robertson. And that's the closest thing so far from Hearts. That awkward dipping cross from Willie Gibson. Then Chris Robertson getting in behind the Celtic defence. The deflected header just going wide of the post. Solid challenge from McAdam. Gives Sullivan the chance to come clear for Celtic. Nicholas is onside. And that's not a bad effort at all. Trying to sneak it in at Bruff's near post. And certainly there wasn't much happening inside for Charlie Nicholas. Crawford Boyd. Con is available again. Beautiful change of pace. Jeffries. For McAdam. Now Kidd. Trying to one two with Gibson. And it was a good return ball from Willie Gibson, but Walter Kidd seemed to snatch at that effort. Celtic 2, there's the scorer of the first goal, Davy Proven in 33 minutes, about to congratulate the scorer of the second, Charlie Nicholas, eight minutes into the second half, and that certainly reflects fairly Celtic's domination of the proceedings. And Celtic with the Premier League's only away winners today, no goal. Stadium awash.